Mainly I started being interested in farming during the COVID period. The pandemic changed a lot of people's thinking. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was like this whole, the whole thing changed. That's like three years back. Three years back. Yeah. By then I was still at uh, campus at university, mm. uh, that's Chambogo University. Mm. I was doing a course in microfinance. Mm. So now we, are, we sit down, nothing to do, nothing that whole year. Mm. It was close to coming to two years actually. Mm. So as I'm home, I was like, but you know, I'm home, I'm doing nothing. Mm. Why don't I just start up something? Mm. I actually started the farming interest mm. in ginger. In ginger? Yeah, I started with ginger farming. Okay. It was actually my first crop that I grew. How big was the farm? It was one acre okay. or a bit smaller than an acre. Okay. My mom is from ginger, so I was there for a while. And your mom is from ginger? My mom is also from ginger. Also Gandhi. Also Gandhi. And you will win. You will win. I'm at the Gagua. I'm at the Gagua. I'm at the Gagua. I bet most of us know Farm Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Daniel. Dr. Daniel. Very inspiring young man. Yes. Mm. So, oh, you know, I was like, why not do some poultry? Mm. Do a bit of mix. When the matoke is not doing well, mm. you can... Actually, my first two hens and a cock, mm. I bought them from my auntie. <laughs> That's how the chicken here started. Um, so you started with two? Two hens, one cock. Wow. Yeah. And uh, you, you told me that you recently, during the Christmas season, yeah. you sold? Yeah, we sold some. You uh, sold how many? They were 120, so we sold about 70. All together they were 120? 120. From two hens and one cock? Yes. Are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> how long did it take for them to multiply from two to, to 120? 120. Uh, the three years, I wasn't so much uh, conversant with that, but it would be even be more. Oh, if you were serious. If I was serious yeah. about it. Wow. Yeah. Let me ask a personal question. Please don't get offended. Yes. How old are you? <laughs> you are so entrepreneurial. <laughs> Um, I'm uh, old enough. Are you okay to share the age or are you? Uh, uh, it's okay. Yeah. I'm only 23 years, making 24. 23 years. Yeah. Man, I think by the time you make that, you will be a billionaire. Thank you. Yeah, because your mind is one of a kind. You're so entrepreneurial. For a long time, agriculture has been the backbone of our economy, but unfortunately not many young people have embraced it. Now in today's video I bring you a very unique and inspiring young man who decided to venture into this and he is earning millions and millions every year. Behind me we have a big plantation of matoke seated on several acres of land stretching down into the valley. He also has several plantations of maize and of recent he has started venturing into poultry, uh, dairy farming and also goat farming. Now, if it is your first time on this channel and you've not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, enable the bell button so you'll never miss all other videos like this. Big thanks to Shami Vlog UG for helping me capture this video. She's behind the camera and please let's go check out her YouTube channel. So without wasting any time, let me welcome Ryan, the young billionaire. <laughs> Not a billionaire. Bro. You're yeah, welcome, Mr. Yuji. Thank you. Yes. You are a millionaire. Actually, mm. in fact, you're not only a millionaire. Mm. You are a billionaire. 
seeing a young man like you mm. having this kind of venture is really inspiring and honestly you should, you should be making some good money <laughs> and i think by the time we live here mm. i'll be at least several hundreds richer give me some farming money i'll give you some youtube money youtube money <laughs> 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 now we are talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How far? How many kilometers are we away from Kampala? We are about uh, seventy-nine mm. to eighty kilometers from Kampala. From Kampala. Yeah. That's pretty close. It's like two hours, one and thirty minutes. Yeah, drive one and a half minutes. Yeah, drive from Kampala. Mm. Yeah. Kindly tell us about yourself. I believe our viewers would like to know about you. Oh yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, my name is Ryan. Yes. I'm um, also on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Uh, so far, I'm using the name The African Boy 256. Mm. You can check me out, mm. do a bit of vlogs and their lifestyle vlogs, mm. and of course, farm, farm vlogs. Mm. Yes. Please go check him out on YouTube. I'll be leaving links to his YouTube channel mm. in the description down below. And you wanted to change the name of your channel? Yeah, I wanted to change the name because yeah. uh, there has been a challenge. Mm. Someone already uses the name African oh, Boy okay. and is a bit bigger. Oh. So most subscribers are like, oh, when we search for your channel, we can't see you mm. so far. So mm. I was like, maybe I could change. Mm. Yeah, they can let us know in the comment section. Mm. And Mr. Yuji, of course, is here. He yeah, I'll also come advice. up with some few mm. channel name ideas. Mm. I've not seen many young people mm. venturing into farming. What drives you to? Is there really money in farming? <laughs> uh, farming, as we have always grown up hearing the, the, the talk, yeah, uh, it's the backbone of our country. Yeah, and I I believe it wouldn't be the backbone mm. when there is no money. Yeah, so maybe the only thing is, as young people, mm. it's something we used to look at as something of the old days mm. since it involves you getting dirty and all that we like the white collar mm. more comfortable jobs but there's money yep so uh, how did this journey start and how many years are we looking at when did you start the farm and where did the inspiration come from okay mm. uh we are not looking at a very far uh period according to how you look at it mm. uh, my family, we, this is like a family land. We had some good peace. This is, uh, we are sitting at 14 acres right now. Wow. There was no one using it. Mm, this is so big. So I was like, but you know, I'm home, I'm doing nothing. Mm. Why don't I just start up something? Mm. But then, being a first time farmer. Things didn't go. Things didn't go well. <laughs> I was like, ah, now it's becoming tough. Hey. So I got some little bit of money, mm. uh, but it wasn't as I expected. Mm. Uh, then Did you make some profits or you were mm. operating in losses for the first time? For the first time, I must say it was losses. Mm. Uh, the, the best I did was to recover. The my, capital? Yeah, the capital. The, okay. the start even, so I broke even. Mm. So... Uh, 2020, this land was here, there was nothing going on. So I decided to come and just start up being a church by myself within the COVID period. Mm. Uh, so our first project was this, pla this plantation you're seeing okay. here. Yeah. Wow. And now, three years down the road, this is the product. Every year you're selling matoke? Every year. How much do you sell a bunch? A bunch, the average sizes are 10,000. Mm. Yeah, uh, average size. Mm. Then, of course, as you they become bigger, the price increases. Wow. And how big is the land where the matoke is? So this matoke is on two acres. Two acres. This upper, oh. we have this upper side and huh? the lower side. The lower side is how many acres? The lower side is uh, four acres. Now me, I'm looking at money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I want us to have a tour of your farm as we are having the story mm. of how everything started. Eh? Mm. So I think we start on the poetry project. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, you yeah. recently started poetry. Yes. Uh, let's walk right there. Right there. Yeah, why did you decide to venture into poetry? Poetry. Mm. Poetry uh, is a very interesting uh, venture because mm. 
they are not so easy to keep, but mm. then they can fetch you a lot of money. Mm. We sold some. You uh, sold how many? They were 120, so we sold about 70. All together they were 120? 120. From two hens and one cock? Yes. Are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> how long did it take for them to multiply from two to, to 120? To 120. Uh, the three years, I wasn't so much uh, conversant with that, but it would be even be more. Oh, if you were serious. If I was serious it. about it. Wow. There would be more. So, yeah. Uh, that's where we are. You sold 70. We sold Let's 70. check how many do you have now? We have, we should have about 60 with the young ones. Okay. Mm. Local or broilers, layers? So we have local mm. and uh, these are crailers. Mm. Yes. Why did you choose to venture into the local ones? To the local ones. Mm. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Because uh, they are a bit easier to manage that's mm. what i thought mm. but still they are easier to manage because they don't get sick yeah they're so a bit easily. resistant to diseases resistant oh we have one which has laid an egg here oh right here <laughs> wow i think i've come with blessings ug connect it is still warm blessings. and guys uh, local fresh. eggs are very expensive yes. a tray of local eggs i think is at like twenty thousand or thirty thousand and the layers is at I think the farm gate price is eleven thousand Ugandan shillings. So I think we put it here. Yeah, it's supposed to. You're be going inside. to hatch it. Uh, we usually leave them to hatch by themselves. Huh? Okay. So we are doing everything natural and local. Mm. So I was asking you why you decided to venture into the local ones, the local breeds, mm. and you said they are resistant to diseases. And mm. They are manageable, mm. basically, yeah. Not so much work. Not so much work. Okay. Mm. So, did the 120 feet in this small space, because I see the space is small and we have one room here. Mm, we have one room there. Mm. So, usually what we do, mm. and also this this size here, yeah, the small size, I've just moved in here. Mm. We have another room, it's meant to be our storage area, okay. but now we move some of them there. Mm. Then we also have an extra room there, mm. so when we kind of try to rotate around. Mm. Yeah, but with time we plan on doing a bigger mm. for house for them. Yeah, mm. a bigger farm. Yeah. Yeah. So I see they are eating greens. Yeah, we, we give them scissors. Oh, th the, these are nkofu, you also have nkofu. Yeah, those are the green fowls there. Green fowls? Yeah. Okay. Those are the green fowls right there. You, you have only two? We have only two. Mm. If there's anyone who knows where I can get good gain falls, mainly female, mm. I would love to. The market is huge, eh? Uh, the market is not that huge, but they beautify. Oh. I'm basically best for beautification, <laughs> not selling anything. Mm. Yeah, so which, which weed is this or which grass is this? Uh, this is Lantana Kamara. Mm. Uh, the one they call... Kafumbe Mukasa? No, the one they call... Sere. Sere. Mm. Oh, this is Sere? Yeah, that's Sere. So it is medicinal to them? Yeah, and it also helps them, just like a human being, mm. when you eat a bit of this and that, mm. eat some greens. Mm. You balance the diet. You balance the diet. You boost your immunity. Yes. That's right. Mm. Let's check how it looks like inside here. Yeah. I still have your egg, please. No. <laughs> you know where to put it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. sure. You have Sekoko as well. Yeah, we have turkey. Yeah. We have actually just bought them. Mm. There are two. There are two. A male and a female. Mm. Mm. I saw you also have ducks. Yeah, we also have ducks. Mm. So this is where they are meant to lay their eggs mm. in here. Oh. Mm. I see one, one is broken. One is broken, actually. Mm. Uh, I would love to... I'm actually thinking of... We get uh, yeah, an inch better, because mm. then you don't have these problems. Mm. Uh, when you you just come pick the eggs, mm. put them in an inch better, mm. then uh, they multiply, they hatch. How much does it cost? I'm not sure. I'm trying to look around. Mm. I wish I can meet Dr. Daniel, mm. and he advises me. Yeah, Dr. Daniel, if you're watching this video, this young man would like to consult you mm. on that because you're big when it comes to poultry. Mm. Yeah, so I've seen you have ducks, you have turkey, guinea fowls, 
mm. hence do they coexist in harmony or sometimes they fight oh yeah <laughs> so uh, the rest of these ones mm. they can coexist apart from the ducks what happens with the ducks the ducks are very tricky animals they can they even eat young chicken those chicks they're savages they're savage <laughs> they try to they want to rule the whole area so mm. that's why i gave them their own cage oh the let's check side, it out yeah so this is their own palace this is their palace i can see they have a, a pond they have a pond on that they have not cleaned it mm. why they did you create for them it. a pond uh because they like water mm. ducks ducks will be anywhere there is water mm. they will feel a lot of uh, life and mm. energized mm. when there is water but I, i'm planning to do a bigger one a bigger pond a eh? bigger pond around there mm. then this will be like a vent mm. where it pours and mm. try and do a, a drainage mm. basically okay uh, so they are hiding they are hiding now <laughs> inside let's not disturb them yeah you know it's kind of hot so yeah yeah they try to hide inside there exactly yeah so this is like a poultry section, section of it mm. and we also have some goats okay we are basically small still mm. small mm. we are starting we are just starting up mm. we are establishing ourselves you are still small but you're earning big <laughs> 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 ah. That is the beauty of it. The beauty. Yeah. So, mm. this is a section where we have the goats mm. and the cattle. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and they live in the same uh, the same club. shelter. Shelter. Yeah. Only that I raise we raise the the goats mm, section. Section. Why? Goats like to stay up. Mm. And it's all, it's also easier to clean up their poop mm. from down. I see it down yeah. here. Yeah, down there. Mm. So when we remove it there, mm. we take it straight to our garden. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you have manure. That's mm. why your matoke look healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the beauty of doing mixed farming. Or oh, mixed farming. Mm. Okay, how many goats do we have in here? Uh here we have about nine mature ones and three uh, little ones so you've just started the the goat project the goat project okay. we are starting like i said we are just starting we are still small why did you choose to start with the local breeds because i see they are local breeds yes they are local breeds why um back then maybe i had some kind of i was a bit naive mm. and didn't have enough advice mm. so to me i thought these local breeds are mm. manageable still mm. they are a bit resistant mm. to diseases and all that mm. so i thought it would be wise to get these the ones. ones yeah now the beautiful thing i've uh, recently have visited many god farmers mm. and i've really learned a lot from them okay. the boars are resistant diseases as well the karahalis the savannas they are highly profitable you feed these ones and the boars the same amount of food same kind of care these ones they don't easily convert the feeds into muscle but the bo- the boars are good at that that's why their demand is so high on the market oh. so i think i will advise you to start at least with a few of them like yes. five boars karahalis savannas mm. yeah, i have a few friends you can consult they into uh, they into god farming Okay. They can really advise you. So here then this is our cutter section. Mm. You can actually come in. Oh yeah. Wow, the kiral is the shelter is very neat. Yeah. We try to clean. try to make it neat and clean. Mm. I recently put this bed. It's like a bed for them. Hey. So they sleep somewhere soft. Oh. Then the So they are much more comfortable. They look very healthy. So why are they few you have a few here? Yeah, uh, there are about six of them. Mm. You know, you know cows are also a bit expensive and mm. uh, since I was starting I didn't have really that much. Mm. So bought a few the two fragrance. Mm. 
then uh, there are also those local ones. Mm. Yeah. The brown ones are the local ones? Yeah, the brown ones are the local ones. Mm. The male is it's called Boran. Boran? Yeah, it's not totally local, but it's called Boran. I think Boran is, a, is, is from meat. South Africa. Yeah, from South Africa. Mm. Yeah. It's Boran. basically for meat. Mm. Mm. So when did you start this project for the cattle? So the cattle, that was the uh, start of last year. Mm. 2023. 2023. Yeah. So we are only hoping this year we shall start this getting year. some milk. So are you going to focus on the meat production or dairy production? Uh, dairy production. Why? Because uh, dairy is, it's, it sustains itself mm. and runs with time. But for uh, meat, mm. beef, you raise a whole uh, cattle. Mm until it's old enough to be on the market. Mm. But milk, you can get on a daily, mm. at least. Mm. Yeah, so that was my idea. And then after you can sell it for meat. And you can also sell it for meat. It's like uh, layers in poultry. Uh -huh. After I think four months or six months, uh -huh. they start laying eggs, uh -huh. you earn, uh -huh. almost on a daily, uh -huh. because they lay eggs every day. Every day. Yes. And then when you off lay, you sell them for meat. For meat. <laughs> Unlike yeah. the broilers. Ah, that's true. <laughs> they don't give you any eggs. Yeah. But you feed them, mm. then it's only meat. Yeah. Yeah. This is like their grazing area for the cows. Mm. The whole of this up to down. Mm. When they move out, mm. they come straight to where they graze from. This land is very big and I love the fact that there is natural grass around. Yes. Do you usually give them a this uh, dried hay. Dry hay. Yeah. Uh, so what we do, mm. uh, since we do some maize farming here, mm. uh, we have those uh, maize stems or mm. when we remove the maize, mm. then it dries up. We do cut them and mm. store them in our store. Mm. So when the dry season comes in, mm. We mix a little bit of that with salt and water, mm. then we eat. So as we stretch, mm. the banana plantation also stretches on the other side there. Mm. Yeah. Right there. Wow, it's very big. It comes from up there, yeah. then it goes down. Right down there. Wow, this is big. So which are, are they called uh, breeds, types of matoke you, you have? Uh, did you use an agronomy store to plant them? No, we just did it our own style, the local way. <laughs> <laughs> and they are really... Uh, yeah, and they are really good. Mm. Uh, in Luganda, they call it Mpologoma. Oh, you have Mpologoma. Yeah. Okay. Mpologoma. Then we have Mbwazirume. Mm. They are, I think, like five types of matoke species. Mm. We basically know the Luganda names. Really. Yeah, Mpologoma is lion. Mm. So. This breed of matoke is called, is, is it called breed or species? It's a species. Yeah, correct it's us a, in the comment section. Can comment, can comment. <laughs> no, so in yeah. English it's lion. Yeah. So we have a lion plant a lion, matoke. A lion plant matoke, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I see we had planted maize in here. Yes. Uh, so what you, happened? You leave it here on the cobs. Maize is still here. Yeah, they are meant to come and... You have a and leave it in the garden? Uh -huh, then they come from behind, oh. picking picking it like that mm. until it's done. Mm. Yeah. How many kilos did you invest in here? We have not yet, so we are still... Estimation? Estimation. Um, six or seven bags. This one, this, only this area here. Mm. It's like uh, half an acre? Yeah, it's like half an acre. Okay. So that's uh, usually a bag can have 120, 140 mm. kilo kilograms. Mm. Yes. And how much is that if uh, you sell it? If you sell a bag, yeah. depending on the price, mm. prevailing price. Right now, maize is a bit low, mm. but each kilogram now is going for 600 shillings. 600 times 12 mm. times 120. How much is that? So I'll help you. Yeah. Six hundred times one twenty. Seven hundred and twenty thousand. Seventy-two. 
thousand. A bag is seventy-two. A bag, yeah, one bag. That's not bad. Yeah. Mm. Then if you can get your ten bags, mm. and that's that's like the law we are using the law okay. estimation. Yeah. You have seven twenty. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now we wanted to utilize mm. this area mm. and also try to help with the weeding of the plantation. Oh. So we put in the maize. Oh. So but you don't spray? You no, know, we don't spray. Why? Uh, it's not really. And I hope uh, Ugandans, as uh, as a people, we mm. can embrace this. Mm. That's what is spoiling our land. Mm. Because these pesticides, the more you use it, mm. the less fertile your land gets. Mm. Over time. Over time. Mm. Mm. So we try to avoid that as much as possible. Mm. But next season we won't put maize. Why? Because now the bananas are at all. Eh? Are past that. They will be competing for light. For light. Mm. Then these don't grow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you'll put. Uh, yeah, we can either put beans, those low. Mm, maize, the legumes. The le legumes. Mm. Uh, so mm. when this is where we harvested some maize there. Oh, from here. Yeah. Mm. So and uh, so when we harvest, mm. we bring uh, a machine, mm. removes it from the cobs. These ones here. Mm. Yeah. I see some were left. <laughs> yeah, some were left. <laughs> so the machine is not a hundred percent. It's not a hundred percent effective. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Okay. So we put them here. This can be used as manure mm. and also as for cooking. As as charcoal. As charcoal. Are you serious? Yes. You can put this on your charcoal stove and it lights very well. I've never tried this. <laughs> yeah. So on a maize plantation, like an a maize plant like this one, mm. here we don't throw anything. Everything. Everything, everything is used. <laughs> Even the waste. Even the waste, mm. this, which could be this. Mm. We can pour it in our plantation for mm. manure mm. or just use it for cooking for cooking why did you choose mixed farming other than uh specializing in specializing one? in one yeah uh, basically you know i was starting and i had my fears since i had some failed adventures mm. so i was like in case this doesn't work out mm. or oh, one season is low Mm. then I can have this working, mm. trying to sustain wow. uh, the others. At least when you're here, you can have a bigger view mm. of where, how big the farm is. And it is very scenic. Look at the hills around. Yeah. yeah. I can smell some jackfruit around here. This <laughs> one, I think, is ready. I think it should be ready. Let's see. You can check it out. Yay! Oh. This one is ready! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm taking this home. Yeah. Help me. You can actually. I'm taking this home. This is how we harvest jackfruit. <laughs> ah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Shami can't it's believe it. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think it is very sweet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We've been able to get some jackfruit, guys. Yeah. In Uganda, we say Nkumbi Terimba. <laughs> how do you translate that in English? The whole doesn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Direct translation. Yeah. This space here, mm. where we are standing and up there. Oh, this stretching from up there? From up there to here. Mm. That's, uh, this is where my boys were with me with the farm. Oh, like your stuff? Yeah, my stuff. Mm. This is where I give them a piece where they can do their own. Are you serious? Yeah. They do their own? They are their own. Planting, whatever comes out, it's theirs. It's their money. Their money. Teddy Kuling is anti No, no, no. I no. even see my nurse, how, how much they got from here. Wow. Nyanzi? Uh, so called Jeko Katon. Wow. So, how, how, how big is this space you gave them? Uh, actually, they had mm. this and that where the Matoke is. Wow. Then one of them, he got to go. So, it remained here. Mm. But this entire place is two and a half acres. Two and a half acres. On yeah. top of the, on top of that, you give them salary. Yeah, they have their monthly salary. Big up, <laughs> up yourself. Yeah, Nyanzi. Our no, we call. 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 We call
kusinzira ensigo je twakozesawo te yali nnungi nnyo nti yali kumutindo ngampya na era mu kusinzira wapu de wensa okumi nga atenda bilira si eliawe yo murembe kusinzira bo tumwa kitegeza obo lisiza osobola okufuna abili okudda wakuru yeah, so and you can remember our math. Yeah. So they they get some good money. They can, because mm. uh, I don't really believe mm. in someone working for you. Then they are not be, uh, developing mm. or doing something for themselves. Yet we, the land is available. Yeah. Interesting. Nyans, what are you doing? In Kumbi Terimba. Some people say they can. Okay. Uh, so this is one of our stuff. Mm. It's called Nyanzi. Thank you for having a good heart. Mm. You know, that's how we multiply our wealth by lifting others, yeah. by blessing others, not being selfish with all the things we have around us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Eiji Connect, that will be motivated. I'll, <laughs> I'm I'll turning to a motivational speaker. Uh, I'll be uh, so a happy man today. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, so mm. from here, moving down, mm. this is the other section of the four acres mm. of the banana plantation. Up there, how many acres? There are two. 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 So here. Yeah. These ones are four. four. So in total, there are six acres. Six, six acres. Wow. Mm. So I think you can see all the land is mm. surrounded by trees. Yeah. And I love the shade here. Here it's, it's a bit cool. It was so hot there in the empty space, but here yeah. it is cool because of the trees. Because of the trees. Mm. By the way, how much is an acre of land this side? This side? Uh, last time I checked, it was about five, six. Mm. But now I don't know the exact. If one is buying in a big number, like many acres, mm. can it be slightly lower? Yeah, it could. It can be. To like 3 m, 4 m? It can be. Okay. Because uh, uh, there is even a story I had. Someone was buying an acre at one, one, two m. Recently. Recently, around twenty, around COVID, twenty twenty, twenty twenty one. There. Mm. Mm. So mm. it's possible once. You know, it usually depends. Mm. Someone's situation. Mm. The someone, yeah, can have a problem, an urgent one, mm. and then they need the money urgently. Mm. So you could strike a deal and mm. yeah. Wow. Chami is very tired. <laughs> She's been helping us record the video from the beginning. Chami, you're a strong lady. Thank you. Where are you now? Where are you now? I'm going to take my check. You're not going to take my check. I'm going to take my check. I think. This one should be for Mr. Easy Connects. And uh, this one is big. <laughs> uh, this is actually one of those. They, they can be bigger than this. Wow. Yeah. My family is not that big. I think my neighbors are going to take some shows. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to share the blessing. They're sharing the blessing. Yeah. You know, they say life is about passing. Yeah. 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 So right about now, we are going to witness my blessing getting slopped out to the ground. Light is big, you know, you can move it. I know. I have a way to kind of cut it a little. When okay. it comes, you hold it. Okay. So it doesn't fall. Oh, 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 So my people back home, so my people back home, this is ours, this is a blessing. 